What's going on guys? Today we're having a new tutorial about how do we use menu tool uh, to spawn objects inside the game. So let's get it started. Let's get it started. Uh, uh, this is the default map now as we can see. Uh, let me spawn another map so we have a much more clear area that it will be easier for us to spawn objects and deal with it more than this one because this one is a little bit crowded with mountains and trees and stuff. So let's spawn a new map. Uh, for using the or showing the menu uh, list, what you need to do just hit the F8 uh, key and that's it. Then object spawner. Go to uh, manage saved files and uh, in last tutorial I showed you how do you add custom XML and menu maps to the game and launch it and uh, use it right. So I'm going to use one of the maps that we've used last time or we've, uh, you know, let's use this. We've added this one last time. Motor pack challenge. So let's go ahead. It's a little bit cold today, guys. So I'm sorry. I'm sneezing. Yeah. Anyways, this one here, right? So what if I want to spawn some objects? And just add them along the the, the the jump track. So this is our challenge track in there. So let me spawn some objects all the way down. And I'm going to be hitting them while I'm playing, right? While, while I'm playing. Okay, so for doing that, let's go to just hit F9 so that you're in... Uh, you're in the spawner mood now. So I'd like to spawn some entities all over this track, right? So I'm just gonna go up using W key. Right? And then uh, just this, this just this side, right? Here. On this track, we will be adding some objects. Hit F8, object spawner, spawn entity into world, object. And then you can choose whatever you want. So in my favorite list, I have maybe some baseball. I have uh, maybe bowling. I have trees. I get some balls before, but yeah. Let me add some balls. So I just choose ball using the arrows, arrow keys and then just hit enter one time. And then move a little bit with W, enter, and then W, enter, and then W, enter, there we go. Now I'm adding as much as I, I want. But I want you to take care of something, right? Every time you're spawning a new object, you will watch that on the right side here, you know, if we just move this side, I can't move the mouse now, right, because I'm in spawner mode. On the top right of the screen, you can see that it says vehicle spawn, bits spawn, object spawn, total entities. So, for your RAM uh, memory, you have a specific amount of uh, objects and pins that you can add. If you go above this amount, the game is probably gonna crash. That used to happen to me. So it's basically depending on how much RAM do you have on your laptop or PC, right? So, yeah. Now back to wall. I'm going to favorite. Where is my ball? Yeah, this one. So I'm going to be add some balls in here. Just enter. Enter. You move. You use just your mouse and the W key, right? Enter here. There we go. So all those objects are being added within the uh, static uh, status. They are all static. Sorry, they are all dynamic now, not static. So when they are dynamic, you can hit them and let them interact with other pins, right? Okay, let me add some bowling in here. Some pins, just add this one. Bowling pin here, bowling pin. Bowling bin. You can see that object spawned are increasing, right? 165 now. 166. 167. All the way down, all the way down. 
Let me add some in here. Enter. Move a little bit with W. Oh, enter, yeah. Just on. I, I want to maintain the center line, right? Here. This pink line. So, as you can see, I can spawn whatever I want, right? Now I'm going back and just, you can search, sometimes you just like search ball and let's see what do we have here. Ball search please. What kind of balls we have, as you can see. There are so many balls but they're small in size, right? Oh, it took me to build, no. No, 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 sorry. Again, search, because I used the uh, L key and uh, object spawner back. Yeah, we're in the spawner mode now. Object spawner, spawn entity into world, objects. Uh, search again. I can just see tree. Let me type tree and see what what kind of trees we have. Oh, there's so many, but they don't show in here. I don't know. They're probably not loaded within this version. Yeah, I can see some trees in there, as you can see. You can add whatever trees you want. We got some street light. Um, let's go down. We have some street light poles. We have some. Okay, let's search for another thing. I think we don't have that much number of trees. You can add them as custom ones later, right? Let me just add one tree in here. Not the street lights, nope. Yeah, I'm gonna add this. This uh, just hit enter, right? Yeah, there we go. Just this tree. And then object spawner, you can just go ahead and move your arrow. Just move through the list and see what kind of objects you do have in here. Doesn't show nothing because there's so many millions, I think, of objects out there, right? That's why you have to add them to your mem uh, to your favorite list. Oh yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm not gonna go through that. Let me just go back and then search for maybe pooling, right? Oh, please, no bits, just backspace. Do we have pooling? Yeah, pro pooling here, as you can see. Yeah, we got a pooling ball. There we go, enter. Very nice, I'm gonna add this here. Then go down. What if I want to change the color? I think I'll show you how to change the color. But let's just spawn it first, right? Then I'm gonna go back and then just use your right mouse, click your right mouse button and then go to dynamic. Now it's supposed to be dynamic, right? Don't tell me frozen in place. Oh my gosh. I had to set this before I spawn my objects. I'll be checking the other objects, right? Texture variation. You can go through just hover over texture variation and using the right and left arrows and then now you can change your colors right whatever color you want now it's dynamic so what about this one frozen in place no i want it to be dynamic so we can interact with it and let it fall uh this one is frozen nope please dynamic as well what if i want to change the position of this tree i just hover over it use my uh to make sure that it's selected as you can see on the left side it says Prop snow tree, you know. Every time you select something different, it's gonna be showing in the spawner list, right? So this one, I just choose it by right click my mouse and then uh, left click and move it down. But it wouldn't go down, so I'm gonna be using manual placement on the z-axis. Now I can let it exactly above the track. No, yeah. Now they are together. I joined them together, right? So let's go back and uh, check the other dynamics for the other objects. What about this one? Oh my gosh. Just frozen in place. I had to change that before I start because this wouldn't let them, you know, interact with bits. You know. So if we spawn any more objects now, you will be dynamic. I forgot to do that. So that's something you have to keep in mind before you start, like you know, uh, spawning your objects, right? Alright, so let's now test that. Dynamic as well. So, starting from here, 
from this position all those objects all the way down are going to be dynamic but those ones are going to be static so if you hit those you know your car is going to crash because those are actually working like concrete pieces they're not moving but I'm going to make this dynamic right this ball this one as well yeah all the way down uh, this one as well, dynamic please, and this one as well very nice, now let's spawn a new bit and uh, I want to change this Franklin char character so what about just hitting L and then add on bits, I have plenty of others uh, Patrick, I'm using Patrick now right then I'm gonna go to play mode so I just hit um, you know, F8, sorry, F9, yeah, there we go. And then just go, move, choose my motorcycle. What about this one? Alright, so let's go down. As you can see now, those pools are dynamic, so they will be moving, right? Now you can hit them. Otherwise, look at those. Those are not, are not dynamic, I just put them static, so, you know, it's like a piece of concrete, right? I forgot to add, to make them uh, dynamic, right? Those ones are moving now. Wow. There you go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a piece of concrete as well. That's why we crashed. Okay. Back. Now let's go down. Oh my goodness. Let me fly a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. So as you can see guys, now we're almost done, but the track is so narrow, so I think it's gonna be hard to me to put it back in place, right? Anyways, hope you enjoyed next coming videos, we'll be showing you more and more about how do you modify maps, add objects, spawn things. Thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna be using my parachute. There we go. So thank you very much for watching guys, see you next video.